By now, you've probably seen online that Doc Martens can be a very difficult boots or shoes to break into. We've all seen, even on YouTube, there's a lot of videos on people talking about how to break into their Doc Martens. You've seen crazy ways of people doing it, from like blow drying it, putting it in some type of heater, or just walking gradually in them. And we've also seen pictures of like brutal feet of just how some Doc Martin leather, they're so tough to break into that it bruises individuals' feet and things like that. The most iconic Doc Martens are the 1460s. And that just consists of a leather upper and an airwear sole. The soles are amazing. There's no breaking into the soles. I mean, it just molds into your feet the longer you wear them. But the leather, it takes some time for you to break into it and things of that nature. What some people need to also realize is the type of leather. Some leather are harder to break into than others. For example, the vegan leather, very easy to break into compared to like the smooth leather, which is on the opposite spectrum, which is a lot harder to break into. So these are things that people need to consider while getting their Doc Martens. For me personally, I have about seven different types of Doc Martens, like different variations. I don't have like the same 1460s two to three times. So I have different type of leather and different type of things like that. And for me personally, the breaking in period or the breaking in time varies for each and every one of them. I knew that I was gonna have to put in the work to break into them. So what I did, gradually walk, and eventually they started feeling more and more comfortable. But out of those seven pairs, I have to say one stood out more than other. The reason being is because the one that I got that was the most comfortable for me right out the box was hands down the Terraglow. These Doc Martens, a lot of people don't talk about them. A lot of people don't mention them. Usually it's the 1460s or the 1461s, but this one is not leather. That's the big thing about them. It's like you get the best of both worlds. The airwear soles, I enjoy them. They're very comfortable. They make my feet look nice. But since they're like mesh or cloth, it makes it even better. I enjoy wearing these. Right out the box, I knew I had no break in period. I just took them out for a couple of hours, just walking around and doing different activities, and they were good. Like a lot of people don't talk about these Doc Martens or they're not as popular, but these are, for me, I enjoy them. I know with these, they're very comfortable. They're durable too. I can wear them year round and they're very comfortable right out the box. It's not leather. I don't have to break into anything. Personally, that's my most comfortable pair of Doc Martens. What's yours? Leave some comments down below to help other people out and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.